Tom Barney for Carvin Basses. All right, this is the uh, JB5, uh, Carvin's new baby, so to speak. And what I'd like to talk to you about is the, uh, the truss system in the bass, which is really great. It has a truss rod and it has uh, support rods on each side of the truss. And what it does, it just reinforces everything. The neck is much stronger. It doesn't bend, it won't flex. You don't have to adjust the neck as much. Uh, I've had this space for about two months and I've yet to adjust the truss rod at all. Prior to that, I would have to, I would change strings once a week and every time I did a string change, I would have to adjust the rod. Just the natural course of things, I'm sure you do the same thing. Uh, but now with this new system, I haven't touched it once. And so it's, it, it's much sturdier. I would equate it to um, the whole base in general is like a, um, it's like a car. Let's say like a, maybe a Chevy and a Porsche. You drive the Chevy and it's, it's a great car, but it's a little loose and, you know, loosey-goosey. And you get into a Porsche and everything just like tightens up, you know. And that's what I equate this new base to. It, it's real tight. Everything is working as one. Um, the pickup system is great. You still have the 18 volt system. Uh, the electronics are second to none. It's like, it's a better jazz bass than the jazz bass. I'm just saying. Um, it has an active system, uh, but also a passive system. So if you're playing and you forgot to change your batteries and you start to sound like Jimi Hendrix with a fuzz wah or, you know, that kind of thing, um, you pull out the, uh, the tone button and it goes into a passive mode and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. And when you get, you know, get a break or something like that, put your batteries back in, pop the button back in and you're in active mode. Some people like to play passive basses. Other players enjoy active basses. Well, you have the best of both worlds. It has both, passive and active. There you go. The other things I wanted to talk, talk about was um, the radius of the neck. I'm not a, a large guy. I don't have tremendously large hands, but the neck is so comfortable in my hands. Um, spacing is perfect. Um, whether you're slapping the bass or playing pizzicato, Everything is just there. It just works really well and it's very comfortable. Very clean sounding, it's clear as a bell. One thing about this instrument, Carvin has a a la carte system where, for example, when you look at this neck, it's hard to, to imagine that this is actually a bird's eye maple neck. And what happens is there's an antique finish on it. This particular finish is called antique ash. And so it's a bird's eye maple neck with an antique ash finish. So you can add these things onto your instrument for very little money. Um, it's like Burger King. You can have it your way. <laughs> um, the, the finishes on the base, the laminates, the, uh, the pickups, even the uh, electronic configuration. Uh, I have volume, volume, tone, concentric, stack, treble, bass. But you can get them in different configurations. You can have volume, you can have uh, a pan pot, you can have uh, two band sweepable mids, and you can also, you know, you'll have the tone, I mean the treble and the bass. So there are many ways you can, you can order the bass. And again, it's very affordable, and that's the whole thing about Carvin. Um, there are other manufacturers out there and some boutique bass makers that, you know, to get this kind of look, this kind of finish, would cost you thousands of dollars. And I mean more than two. <laughs> but this instrument, you can get out of the box, sounds great, order it any way you'd like to have it, different finishes and be under two thousand dollars so uh, if you were thinking about paying a lot of money for a great looking instrument save it put it into a money market fund get you a Roth IRA or something now there's an idea a bass player or a musician that's saving money 
This is my newest acquisition. This is called the Vanquish. And it has dual humbuckers, but they're radius. And one of the great things about this uh, configuration is the radius allows balance and evenness throughout the bass, uh, the range of the instrument. How many times have you picked up an instrument and it, the G may be, you know, this, you know, the side of the G string may be a little hot, the B string may not be as hot, or, you know, the, the different heights of the strings may have different timbres when you're playing. One of the things about the radius humbuckers is, is that um, because of the radius, every string gets the same amount of attention in terms of the uh, pickup. So it's balanced, it's even all the way through. So what you hear on a, on a G string, you hear, you hear the same thing on the B. So, and everything else in between is balanced. And that's because of the configuration of the humbucker pickup radius, all right? I still have the, uh, the same configuration here. I have volume, volume, tone, treble, and bass. Again, with this instrument, I also have passive. So in case I want to be in passive mode, you got it. Push it in, you're back to active, all right? Um, you have to get a look at this finish. This is incredible. This is the kind of work that Carvin is doing. Really incredible work. Um, how much would you pay for an instrument like this? I bet you're guessing, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, maybe $10,000. But that's not the case. Again, you can order this base, this very base, in the same configuration, and it's very affordable. Less than $2,500. Beautiful instrument. The other thing about the carbon uh, bases is that it runs on an 18 volt system. If you notice here, you have two battery compartments, two 9 volts. And uh, that makes for it just, it's a really clean, powerful sounding instrument. Um, the fingerboard again is very comfortable. <laughs> Very clean, records great. Even all the way through the B, it's very clean. So these are great instruments, and I would really strongly suggest you go out and get your hands on one right away. This is Tom Barney signing off for Carbon Basses. Look, bottom line is if you want a great instrument, a great sound, this is the only option you have. This is it, Carbon.